Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about unsolved riddles in physics and today I'm talking about waves and particles and more importantly about light and matter. So let's briefly recapitulate. Um, of course the uh, wave nature of light was known since Christian Huygens and uh, very well analyzed already in 16 something, 17 something. And it was quite sensational when Einstein in 1905 came up with the bold hypothesis that the energy contained in a light wave is quantized. And uh, this concept of light quanta evolved th since then in um, the notion of photons on, we imagine, uh, light also as a particle. And by the way, also the Compton effect is very well described by thinking as uh, light as a particle. So on the other hand, it was very well established that electrons are particles since the cathode ray experiments in 1906. And well, uh, so the idea of Louis Victor de Broglie was very bold that uh, there could be something like matter waves, okay? And he uh, developed this beautiful thought in his uh, 19. Um, 21 uh, thesis and um, that was confirmed also in the famous experiment by Davison and Germer. Actually, electrons do behave as waves. This was the other big sensation and of course all this together drove the physicists of the early 20th century almost crazy. There is a quote by Erwin Schrödinger saying that if uh, this behaves um, um, Monday, Thursday and Friday as a particle and, and Tuesday, uh, Wednesday and, and Saturday as a wave, uh, I would have preferred never to bother with physics and, and better became a carpenter. So uh, still today people are discussing and pondering this uh, problem of wave particle duality and uh, Niels Bohr came up with uh, uh, theory of complementarity, but that doesn't really uh, explain very much. So the problem is unsolved, but additionally I believe the problem is ill-posed. Because the fundamental question of physics is not so much why there are waves and particles, but why there is light and matter. Think about light and matter are two very distinct characteristic phenomena and there is no a priori explanation from fundamental principles why this phenomenology and not another one and why these two and not others. Theoretically you could even think about of light without matter would be very boring just energy in the universe or even matter without light very dark so uh, but there must be an explanation and uh, interestingly this is also related to the question of explaining fundamental constants which I addressed in other videos. Uh, light is clearly related to the speed of light one important constant of nature which is unexplained and matter is clearly related to Planck's quantum of action h which is also an unexplained quantity as a matter of principle. So I think uh, if we want to do any advance, any fundamental advance in physics, we have to resolve this, explaining these constants. And rather than, rather than thinking about waves and particles and duality, the real fundamental question is why there is light and why there is matter. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you are interested in this kind of fundamental questions, subscribe to this channel.